So you might be in a situation where for some reason a Siri is just not working. Now, sometimes Siri works perfectly fine, sometimes it doesn't. Now, the very first thing I would recommend doing for the most part is trying to invoke Siri and see exactly what happens when you do it. So you can see for me when I go ahead and open up Siri like this, you can see that I am getting a little bit of a pop-up at the bottom. Now, this is totally fine. So what this allows me to do is to allow Siri and dictation. So sometimes just read the pop-up that comes up. So in this case, all you're going to have to do is just allow your location services. So go ahead and just allow your location services and or some other things that may come up. And that's probably all you're going to have to do. So you can see now I can invoke Siri and that's pretty much it. Now, another thing you may want to do and check out for is for one, you don't have to be on an internet connection, but make sure you aren't on airplane mode or anything like that. Siri might not work if you're on airplane mode. And you may not even have Siri enabled in the first place. So what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and make your way over to your iPhone settings. You want to scroll down into Siri and search, which is right here. And all you want to do is make sure that you have press side button for Siri enabled and or listen for Hey Siri. Those types of things will pretty much help you into kind of navigate down of exactly why Siri is not working for you. Now you have to understand if Siri is not working in general, that could mean a lot of things. Maybe Siri is being inaccurate, or maybe Siri is just not turning on at all. If Siri is not turning on at all when you're saying, hey Siri, or you're clicking this button, clicking this and or enabling this is going to fix those things. But if Siri is giving you inaccurate information, Siri is pretty much just like that. It's never, never, it's going to get better, but it's not been as great as it could be. So it's just one of those things we're gonna have to kind of get used to, to be honest. Another thing you may wanna try doing is try updating your phone. So make your way back into your iPhone settings like this. You then want to scroll down back into general settings. So click on general right there. And all you're going to want to do is go and click on software update. And all you want to do is go and update your phone. For a lot of people, just updating your device can probably end up fixing the problem too. And that's probably all you're going to have to do here. You can also try restarting your phone by holding down the buttons to restart your device. But those are pretty much the main things you can do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.